Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop a Money, and we are back inside the Hyperbolic Reaction Chamber. And this is another reaction to Miracle Chan. This is Miracle Chan Episode 8. All right, guys, we are back with it. All right, so man, last episode, we last left off, Episode 7, we had our Chinubio Exorcist. You know, we had we, we had Yuria, Yuria, uh, and Miko, and, and Hana. They went on a nice little expedition to take pictures, but uh, it was actually... Yuria trying to see, trying to test out Miko's uh, exorcism powers, you know, because, you know, she's trying to be exorcist herself, but, you, you know, she has the completely wrong idea of Miko, but, you know, it's because she, she can't see the same, the, the, the really crazy evil spirits, you know. Uh, also, there was one really big crazy one, it was a spider, uh, those fox spirits came out there and, and exercised, or put it on, no, not even exercised, put it on hold for now, and it held up the one they, she has one more protection, I believe. That's what that's what it is. So they'll come in one more time. But uh, yeah, she doesn't see the fox spirits either. So at least, at least that's what we are expected to think. I, I, at least that's what we expected to think. Maybe she do see them. Yuria could see them because she couldn't see them the last time because she was in Miko's chest. But huh, we'll see. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Let's do it. Without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is Miracle Chan, Episode Eight. Right now, Sh shopping for clothes for Mama. Hey, <laughs> we're back with little brother, too. Oh, yeah, see, he's a he's a he's an animal liker because you know he has koala bear on his uh, on his shirt. Try it on for herself, yeah, you know, if it looks good on, or if it fits her, if it's her, if it's uh, their mom. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I forgot what this show was about. Yep, that's what this show's about. <laughs> oh, damn. What a oh, boy. Shit. Waifu. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to y'all though. I sure did forget what this show was about. I'm not even. I'm not lying. And then I just remembered. Oh, oh boy. Oh, don't turn around, please. Oh, that's so ugly. I hate that so much. That's be the worst type, dude. Oh. Uh, that's the uh one of the manga panels I saw a long time ago. Shit creepy as fuck. <laughs> she don't want to take it off. <laughs> Cause of the extra time inside there. Oh, I I hate those quick nick snaps so much. That'd be the worst type of horror. You hear it deep in the background, the main song is playing. <laughs> a little remix of it, that's cute. A hacker, you know, uh, a hacker, dude. This man got a whole axe on him. Oh, what? Oh boy, if he did, man, if that was, if that, if they could actually feel that, that would have been terrible. Oh wait, he can. It'll be the same thing with Miko, right? Uh, he's standing up, so. Well, he's standing up, so right through the neck. <laughs> uh uh. Bro, the suspense is killing me with this one. Because I'm talking about if she. If he, if he, you know, he hacks up, cause she gonna phase right through it. I know she gonna phase right through it, but like, I ain't gonna lie. She like, like oh yeah. <laughs> let's watch this. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Oh my God. Oh, what the fuck? That is so gross. The sounds, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. Don't react, don't react, don't react, don't, don't 
react, don't react, don't react. Oh, 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 so, what happened? Yeah, there we go. Man, I'm talking about, I, man, I'm talking about, boy, I, I don't know. I, I would have weaved that shit so hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just couldn't. Yeah. Talking about, get off that, get off that train. Get off of it. Oh man! Oh 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 wow! Oh yeah, she. Yeah. Oh, she's having a baby. Yeah, Miko, don't I, don't worry, Miko. I would have pissed myself too. For sure, would have pissed myself. You got this floating spirit hand. Is it gonna morph into something? Or is it gonna morph into the baby? It's going into her it's going into her belly? Something fucked up finna happen. Okay, this time. <gasps> Wait. The first time. The first time it didn't make it through the first time. A second try. I see. And that's. So that's what that was. Oh, wow. Another one knocked out of the park, guys. Another one knocked out of the park this episode. That is so wholesome. This show be knocking it out of the park, man. When they want to touch your heart, they make sure they do this and pull on these heartstrings, man. I love it. We'll talk about it afterwards. I would assume these are spirits of dead people with regrets. It. Facing her situation head on. I mean... There would be a change of pace. Should you should you face that head on? Uh, maybe the next one after that. Maybe the next one. <laughs> yeah, best to just ignore the issue. You know that always helps. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Orange hair? Orange reddish hair? Zentono. It's him! I thought we'll see this nigga again! He is flooded with evil spirits. Don't give it to his handsomeness. Oh, part two, boy. Part two. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. All around. Welcome back. And of course, we have the after credit scene. Have the after credit scene. Cats. Hey, it's the dude with the scars. What's up, dude? See? That's the one that they should get. He should get. Was, now, was that an instinct? Or did he actually see that? <laughs> the same cake, yeah. They love that stuff too. Ah, it was definitely, definitely an instinct. Definitely instinct. See, that's wholesome. I love that. And then, oh, the wedding anniversary. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with this show. So wholesome! Bro, I mean this. I mean this right here. People need to start putting some respect on Miracle Chan, the show. They need to start putting some respect on this show, man. This show need more buzz. This, this is amazing. This show is awesome. I love it. Another episode they knocked out of the park, man. They focused 
the first half of the episode was focused strictly on on the horror aspects, and they knocked it. They nailed it. I'm talking about they had. I'm talking about my heart was racing. Had me like these. You know what I'm saying? They they had they had the little slasher dude with the with the axe. I call him hacker. I mean hack slash whatever you want to call it. Yeah, man, that shit was fire. I'm talking about that. That was so fire. And and on top of that, I'm for sure losing sleep tonight. For sure. For sure, you know, <laughs> because when when the when that when the, when that when that hacker dude came out there, man, you know, it was that little black string coming from the girl's mouth. Uh, I'm talking about he hacked he hacked that damn spirit out of him and ripped it apart. I was like, oh my god, the sound effects and everything, they nailed that shit. And poor Miko, poor Miko, I'm talking about man, I'm not gonna lie, I would have man, I would have did that, I would have did that, I would have I, mean, I would have either weed the shit out of it or. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, 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 she is a real goat out here. Miko is a real goat. Not many folk, unless you are an exorcist, an actual exorcist. Like if you're, if you're mob from Mob Psycho, you got no problem with that because you got powers. Miko is a regular girl, a regular girl. Oh, the only thing she can do is, is 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 try her best to ignore it. And not any regular person could just sit there and ignore this type of shit. And still keep it strong. Eight episodes in. She's a goat, man. She's a very slept on girl. Like, I would nominate Miko. She would be a candidate for me for uh for best girl of the year. That's if this show got that much popularity for that, which I don't I don't think so. But uh I don't think it will it will, at least right now. But man, yeah, man. So going on more into it. They they had me they had me the first half with the with the horror. But they went from there. Oh, oh, can, gotta touch on it. Yeah, gotta touch on it, guys. Yeah, Miko, she at the end of all yeah, she 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 pissed herself. Yeah. And I I completely understand. I completely understand. Who would not? Especially just sit there and ignore it. Especially as soon as he did as soon as he did that like I mean, <laughs> let it all out. But uh yeah, I completely understand. You know, but yeah, hey, shout out to those stockings she was wearing, those pantyhose stockings she was wearing in the beginning of the of the episode, though. I love those. This show touches on so much culture, but uh, yeah. Now going into the wholesome side of it, man, the wholesome side. A teacher girl, teacher lady with the baby, and like we was wondering for the longest what this little hand was. I, I thought it was. I thought at first I thought it was going. It was like the spirit was going, that was touching on the, touching on her stomach. To try to look inside and try to take form of a, of a fucked up version of, the, of that baby. I thought that I thought the little smoke was gonna form into a fucked up looking version of, of the baby inside her stomach that's there now. That's what I thought it was gonna do. But no, no, like it, it was wholesome. Like the, the 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 baby, the the hand right there was the um the baby that uh, the boy that didn't make it the first time because that baby in her stomach is the second time, and that's just I guess you know. Putting putting her hand on, on 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 the stomach to wish to wish her good luck, wish the baby good luck and good health. That touched my heart so much, man. It pulled the shit out of my heartstrings. Like I damn near wanted to cry because it was so wholesome. This show did does a, I never seen this a, a type of show like this before where it balances horror, wholesome, and su suspense and all that stuff like all in one episode and with some comedy too. I love this episode. This is probably my favorite episode of the entire season so far. And they had, and every episode was uh, was always a banger. I love these episodes, man. Holy shit, that was great. I loved it. Now going in, now going in at the end, we can't forget about our boy. Can't forget about him. I knew because I just knew we'll see him again eventually, uh, because can't nobody carry that much of a badass. Uh, 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 yeah, you say a badass or like that with all these evil spirits, all this antagonist vibes coming from him. Can't nobody carry that much vibes, and we not see him again. So I don't think he's the you know the, the full on villain of the show or anything like that, but he is definitely definitely somebody to keep an eye on Miko, possibly in a way. But uh yeah for sure his name is Zen yeah Zen uh Tuna Tuna something like that. But uh yeah and we saw our the dude with the scars at the on, on his face at the end of it all that was wholesome as well. That was very very wholesome, so wholesome man with the cats. Then the cake with the anniversary and stuff. The same cake that the same cake that Hannah was looking at uh, one episode ago, and um, the cat food as well. He had the spirits. It was wife anniversary. Like it was just so wholesome. I love that so much. How did they do it? It's a stroke. This show is a stroke of genius. A stroke of genius, man. All right, I'm done gushing. Damn, that was great, guys. That was really great. I love this episode. It's my favorite episode of the season so far. Episode eight, right here. 
benchmark this one. But uh, thank y'all so much for watching, man. What y'all thought about that? If you like, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.